Hey everyone and welcome to another HD tutorial. And in this video I'm actually going to do a tutorial on or a view on the screen recording tool I'm using right now called Cam Studio. What this does it'll, is it allows you to record the actual pixels on your screen as they move and you can obviously upload it to YouTube. There's a ton of videos on YouTube with people using their screen recorders and posting videos. So um, here I'm going to do a review on Cam Studio. Basically, it is a free program, so it's going to be a very stripped down version of what you may have seen in Camtasia Studio 6. Um, it has all the basic features, the pause, and you know a little bit of editing, some annotations. So I'll go over the different modes and different features with you guys. First of all, this is what it's going to look like when you first open it up. It's got the full window. You can also use the toggle button to switch to a compact view and just these. So I'm going to use this view for now. Um, when you're recording, it shows you your current frame, which is basically um, your time elapsed, which is about a minute now, 32-bit uh, color, and the codec you're using, which I'll get into in a minute, the frame, rate, the frame rate you're getting for the recording of your video, and the dimensions you're recording in. So when we hit File, we can either stop, pause, or exit Cam Studio, which we can also do from here, here, or here. Uh, when we hit Region, we can either do a regular region, a fixed region or a full screen. So regular region is a it's not a constant region, it's constantly expanding and contracting. A fixed region, if I click on it, is what I'm in now. Um, you can select the width and height and also I will show you um, the width and height that you can record in to uh, get HD quality for YouTube videos. I've showed you this already. 640 by 360, 900 by 600, which actually gets little uh, horizontal bars, which isn't the best. 1088 by 612 and 1280 by 720. So right now I'm recording in 640 by 360 and I have auto pen enabled which means it follows my mouse wherever I go and it drags the corners to pan. So if I'm leaving it, it'll catch up to my mouse because the auto pan speed is not very high. So that is region and also full screen it will just record the full uh, 1680 by 1050 that my, uh, my monitor is at right now. When I go to options, there's a whole lot more options. First of all, there's and this is where you select the video compressor or codec that you want to use. I'm using a DivX codec right now, which uh, is available for download, and I've also done a video on. You can configure how this uh, codec actually compresses your videos and how it looks when the video is done. So if I configure it, I'm using a 720 HD profile right now, which is why the quality is so good when you hit the that little HD button on the bottom right-hand corner of this video. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, the quality I obviously set to 100 in order to enable HD. Um, I've let the frame rate auto adjust so that if something is running in the background, it will concentrate less on the actual video recording and more on that application. So that's basically video options for this window right here. Um, also, this the DivX 6.8.5 codec, which I will show you. I've already showed you how to get is pretty much the best HD recording codec for Cam Studio. Second under options is cursor options where you can choose what your cursor looks like, whether or not you show your cursor in the first place, and if you want to highlight your cursor with like a little yellow circle or square or something. So I don't actually want to do that. Next you can record audio from your microphone, from your speakers, or not at all. I'm obviously recording from a microphone right now. And you can also choose your audio options for your microphone and speakers, as well as a little synchronization, just in case the audio comes before the video. Um, I'm still tweaking a little with that, so pardon me if the video seems a little bit off. So, uh, next is enable auto pan, which is very important if your if your um, if your cursor is actually moving around the screen. I could disable auto pan, and I can move my cursor out of your screen right now, but that wouldn't be very helpful because you wouldn't see what I was doing. So next is auto pan speed, which I've set to 90, which is pretty decent speed, which means it's not like flying all over the place, but it's pretty smooth, as you can see. So that's my, you can go from 0 to 200, by the way, for uh, maximum pan speed. Next under options is program options, where you can minimize the program on start, which means this whole window here won't be here. There is high flashing rectangle during recording, which is um, just this tiny little green flashing rectangle and this right here um, which is actually showing where I'm recording on the screen but no need for that I'll just leave it uh, save settings on exit definitely do leave this checked so you never have to uh, reselect your codec and your resolution and your auto pan speed every single time you open 
Capture, capture translucent layered windows. This is good if you're using Windows Vista Arrow. Very, very good. And also play when it stops temporarily direct for temporary directory for recording, which is just making sure you don't accidentally exit out your video. Um, recording thread priority. I suggest you leave this at normal, otherwise it'll kind of take away from the CPU usage of other programs and troubleshooting. Also, you can record and preview your SWF file upon completion if you're recording to SWF, but I am recording to AVI format. And also, I showed you an entire video just for the keyboard shortcuts for starting recording, ending recording, showing layouts, etc. So watch that video too in HD. Last but not least, actually not last, but we have screen annotations, which allows you to put a little, uh, let's say you want to just have a little, um, a little arrow pointing something on your screen. Uh, you, I can actually add those into my video as I'm recording. Other tools include visions, which is kind of the same. Here, I'll put a little, actually, you can't actually see a video of me on screen because that doesn't work very well, but I'll exit out of that. Um, next, you have uh, your view, which I showed you. You can change from normal compact and button view just from this uh, this button right here. Boom, boom, and boom. So those are the three views I'm in normal view right now. And last but not least, there's a help button, which you know shows you what version of Cam Studio you're using. Um, that takes you to the Cam Studio website for extra help, FAQs, donations, etc. Not very important to the review. But um, that is basically it. That is uh, what I use to record my screen. So if you're wondering uh, how to get this in HD, I also have a video on how to record in HD. Um, so go ahead and watch those videos. There's a ton of other videos on my channel on Cam Studio. So watch those and rate, comment, and subscribe. So if you have any other video tutorials that you'd like me to do, um, just go ahead and drop me a comment and I will definitely get back to you. Go ahead and subscribe and send me a message and I'll get back to you and do a video to the best I can. Mention your name in the video. So thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe. Peace.